Hi, I'm John Scholl, President of Service Quality Institute. Welcome to Service First Session 2, Teamwork Development. In this session, we're going to discuss teamwork development in your role as a valuable member of your company's team. In order for any business to provide quality products and services to its customers, it's essential that employees at all levels of the organization work together. Many business experts believe that in the future, work teams will be the primary way that organizations accomplish that ultimate goal of customer satisfaction. What does teamwork look like? Here's an example. Hey, Robert. The truck that we're waiting on just arrived with the ad merchandise that's due out this Friday. The problem is that we're backed up on receiving and I promised accounting that I would get their paperwork by 5 o'clock. If we can't find any extra help, we will not be able to get our product out on time. Well, let's not panic. You know what accounting needs, so go ahead with the paperwork. I'll call the loading department and have them send a couple people over right away to get this shipment unloaded. Sound okay? Yeah, thanks. No, thank you. I really appreciate the way you keep your eye on the big picture. It really makes our jobs that much easier. Those employees may have jobs that are quite different from yours, but you can see how they work together to satisfy both the internal and external customers. One department could not handle all of the many requests and deadlines that were imposed on them. But with some big picture thinking and a little reorganizing, they were able to cooperate and satisfy everyone. Employees have always worked with others, but they haven't always worked as a team. Webster's Dictionary defines a team as a group of people working together or playing together. Teamwork is defined as the action or effort of people working together as a group. Sounds simple, but as you probably know, working effectively as a team requires willingness and a skill from all team members. This session will demonstrate the skills and techniques of teamwork development and will help you understand how to use them. Practice these skills when the lesson is over and you will soon become an outstanding team member. Today's business environment demands more from workers than ever before. You've heard all the catchphrases, do more with less, work smarter, not harder. You might even wonder how you as an individual can produce any more than you are right now. In contrast, when you work as a team, when you combine your skills and commitment to quality with others, you can accomplish far more than the sum total of all of your individual efforts. This phenomenon is called synergy, and it means that together, employees achieve maximum success. Working as a team is not only more productive than working alone, it's more fun. Working together makes everyone's job easier and also creates a more pleasant work environment. But synergy just doesn't happen. It takes skill, enthusiasm, with a lot of practice by all of the team members. So where do we begin? In the first session of our series, you learn the five principles of Service First. These principles are the foundation for everything we will teach you. It is important to remember them throughout your daily routine and to practice them whenever situations present themselves. Let's review. Feel good about yourself and the work that you do. Feeling good about yourself goes a long way toward feeling good about customer satisfaction. Practice habits of courtesy every day and with everyone you deal with. Create a welcome environment that makes your customers want to do business with you. Use positive communication. Your customer's first impression of you can be determined as much by what you say as by how you say it. Listen and ask questions to make sure that you understand your customer's needs and expectations. And lastly, perform professionally in every aspect of your job. Prompt, efficient, personal touch service really counts with today's customer.